Hey everybody, Yeti here and welcome to a Fallout 4 weapon guide. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can get the Gamma Gun at a really low level. Now I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this at level 1, because um, it doesn't come with much ammo so you'll have to build it up yourself anyway. But I thought I'd show it off anyway because I think it's just really interesting how you can get such a powerful gun so early on in the game. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so to get it, you, first of all, what you want to do is go to Hugo's Hole, and Hugo's Hole is on the, the top right hand corner of the map. If you start at Vault 111, you just gotta go directly east and then a little bit of south, and you should end up there. Um, I've gone from roughly the halfway point, and I've just shown the route that uh, sped up a little bit here, and that's the, the little graveyard that you find um, with the jump scare in, which got me. Um, but yeah, so the route is actually pretty simple, like I said, it's pretty much from Vault 111, which obviously is where you come out at the start of the game. It's just directly east, so if you want to go and get it straight away, then you can do that. Um, and you can just follow this simple path here, this is like about only about half the path, but still. So like I said a minute ago, I wouldn't necessarily recommend actually getting this at level 1, because um, the, the ammo you get with it isn't much, it does vary. Uh, when I was doing this for the test route, I got 6 ammo from it, um, but in the actual recording that I did, I only got 3 ammo from it. So you really don't get that much ammo either way. Um, but what you, what you can do, I would recommend, if you do want to pick it up, pick it up, and then at least you've got it then for the future, and then as you play the game, as you start collecting gamma ammo, which you can get anywhere, you can get some in like, random suitcases on the bridges and stuff like that, I've heard. Um, so yeah. So I would recommend either leaving it until later on and at least knowing where it is, and then when you do want to get it, um, come back to this and use it as a guide. Or you can just um, get it now and then let it, just, you know, save up ammo. So there's this big quarry thing, when you get to this big quarry, you should get past the slog, um, and then if you get past the slog, you know you're going the right way. Um, but if you come back past this massive quarry and just go around the left hand side, you'll come to this little squarey bit. Uh, and as you can see, there's this little entrance, so as soon as you get to the quarry, just follow the left hand side. Now pull out a gun here, because there is a turret in the back corner, and that thing, especially at a low level, will be able to one-shot you. Because um, it shoots like rockets. Um, so you got to be pretty careful, and you gotta, not only have you got to kill the turret pretty quickly because it will destroy you, but this area is full of radiation, so you want to try and take down that turret as early as possible. Now once you've taken down the turret, just run straight through to the back, um, and you will get a lot of radiation as you go through, but as long as you're quick, it's not exactly a long path, and you should be pretty quick. And the hazmat suit is on the table just off to the left, so just go ahead and pick that up. Okay, next up, you want to be heading down to the Decayed Reactor Site, and this is another really long run, the Decayed Reactor Site is right in the bottom left of the map, uh, right on the edge of the glowing green sea. Uh, now, if you're going to go from um, Hugo's Hole, if you're doing this like right at the beginning of the game, uh, travel back to Vault 111 and then just go directly south and then um, a little bit west and you should end up there. However, if you're doing this a little bit into the game, you may already have stuff discovered down in the bottom left of the map. Well, I went from Diamond City just to show the path, because Diamond City is usually sort of where people start to head pretty early on. Um, so a lot of people have probably already found Diamond City, in which case I thought this was a good starting point. Um, and it was also the closest I had. So this is the route from Diamond City. Um, it's pretty much sort of like diagonal going um, southwest down there. Um, but you want to just run, and as you can see, I did take a lot of radiation from Hugo's Hole. So that's something to bear in mind. You do have, you have got to be careful with radiation. Um, but as soon as you get to the edge, as you can see, you'll start to see like brown mist. Um, if you get what I'm saying, you'll start to see um, a bunch of broken trees and all that. So as soon as you get here, put the hazmat suit on. And you can put the hazmat suit on whenever, really. But I'd suggest just you know putting it on here, I guess. So what you're looking out for is uh, you see this sort of mountain range in the back. Um, you want to see where the biggest mountain is. You want to go off to the left of that mountain. Now you want to be really careful with action points here, um, with sprinting and you know keeping it the optimal, because um, this area is very dangerous. And my only recommendation for this is running straight through it. This will be a lot easier if you're a little bit further into the game. I actually did this after doing the Concord mission, so as you can see, I have the minigun, um, which I used to take down this Rad Scorpion. But for the most part, I'd suggest just sprinting for it, especially if you're doing this right at the start of the game. I did do this the first time without killing anyone, I literally just sprinted right through, so it is definitely possible. Um, but if you're doing this later on, then bring a weapon and maybe some stim packs as well, and you should be able to do it. But I did manage to do this without any stim packs, so you know. So once you start to get to this big hill, you just gotta run up it, and it's, as long as you go like off to the left and sort of head in the general direction which I'm showing, you should end up at the hill pretty easily. Okay, this is the decayed reactor site, and this where I'm stood now, if you travel to the decayed reactor site is where you'll get put. So that little building thing, the little bunker there, what you want to do is you want to go to the right, and I would heavily recommend quick saving here, because what there is going to be is there's going to be a death claw around the corner, and if you're doing this at an early level, or maybe even a later level, you may not be able to take that death claw out. I actually got really unlucky and it took me a couple of goes, because I actually got a legendary death claw, 
But yeah, so quick save around that corner and then just sprint in. That is definitely the best way of doing it. There's no way you'll be able to sneak past him. Just sprint in, run up to the body, and then hit R. Or whatever the transfer button, tra uh, transfer button is on um, whatever console you're on. Because that way you'll take a second to be able to look in the inventory and pick up the gun um, without being destroyed by a legendary deathclaw. And as soon as you pick that gun up, just sprint and you away until um, you've not got scary music anymore. And there you have it, you have the Gamma Gun. So it's pretty good, it does a total damage of 110, which is, as you can tell, a really powerful weapon. And um, it's just a really good gun, and it's pretty accurate because it fires these like big circle things, so it's pretty hard to miss, um, especially in VATS. And it just looks really cool on the whole. I think this is a really good gun, just because it's not like anything we've really seen before in the Fallout series. And I just really like it on the whole, it's definitely a new, interesting gun, which is really nice to have in the game. So yeah, that's how you get the Gamma Gun. Like I said, you can get it from level 1. I did this at level 4, but um, that's about that. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. It'll help me out a ton. My name is Zunye, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Fallout 4. Be sure to subscribe for more Fallout 4 content as well. We'll be bringing out Fallout 4 content every day, as well as weekly streams. But um, yeah, with that being said, thank you very much for watching, and peace, peace.